Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a Christmas set of red and green resin coasters. In today's video, she's using resin by J Diction, and I'll leave a link along with her discount code in my description. She pours some red glitter into one cup and green glitter into another cup. And using a small paintbrush, she applies it around the edges of the mold. Then she mixes her part A and part B resin together and starts to separate it into smaller cups to add in her pigments. The first pigment she's mixing in is just resin's pigment paste in the shade Titanium White, and she always mixes the pigment in the container first before adding a small amount into her cup of resin. Next, she uses just resin's Emerald Green. followed by Just Resin's Candy Red. I'll have a 10% discount code in my description for Just Resin if you'd like to give them a try. And in that same cup, she adds in some of Craft Resin's Mica Powder in the shade Crimson, as well as Resin Pro's Red Pigment. And in a different cup, she adds in some cherry red alcohol ink that we bought at a local craft store. And to make it more of a deep red, she adds in some of Pinata's orange alcohol ink. Then in a separate cup, she adds in some of Pinata's green alcohol ink. Though while mixing, it appears to be more of a blue, so my mom adds in Pinata's yellow alcohol ink to make it more green. Then she takes some of the same alcohol inks that she previously used and drops it directly into the mold near the edge on the glitter. Then she pours clear resin into that one mold. And then adds in more of her green and red resin. Forgetting that she used a lot of alcohol inks, she went to pop air bubbles with her torch gun, and this is what happened. She quickly removed her respirator mask just to blow out the flames, and luckily, no damage was done. Alcohol ink is flammable, as you can tell, so whenever using alcohol inks, you do not want to use a torch gun. And this is something that we're aware of, but sometimes slips your mind as you're in the habit of constantly using the torch gun. In her next mold, she starts to pour in her green pigmented resin in little blobs around the edges of the mold. Followed by the red pigmented resin. Then she pours clear resin right next to it. Now going back to her first mold, she takes her white pigmented resin and circles around the mold several times. And she goes back to her second mold and applies more of the green and red pigmented resin. Then takes her white pigmented resin and again circles around the mold several times. and she pours clear resin directly into the center. In 
into a separate cup, she adds in some more red and green glitter as well as glitter flakes to be the center detail. And she takes some of her pigmented resin on a wooden stick and uses it to apply it closer to the center. And uses that same wooden stick to help drag the pigmented resin closer into the center so that there is no clear area. And here she is the next day demolding. After we demold our coasters, we always add a top coat and I'll leave a video linked above if you're interested to see that whole process. She adds a gold trim using a gold adding marker. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.